Site Sync Demo. Let's demonstrate a bit more hands-on example. Alice sits in the studio, with central storage on the studio network. She makes and publishes version 1 of the shot 20. Bob then takes over, syncing the work file with all the dependencies to his workstation. When Bob publishes, the published files are synced to the storage site in the background. Now let's see how to do it. I switch to Alice's computer. As you can see, Alice's site sync active and remote sites match, effectively turning the site sync off for her. I will quickly make a shot in Nuke. Just a main plate published, with a bit of color correction. Done. Bob the freelancer can now take over the shot. Switching to Bob's workstation. Bob's local project settings have a local active site. Bob launches Nuke with Shot20 context. Open pipe, load. Select the work file that Alice published. Dependency tab informs about required assets. Right click for download. Switch to Sync queue for details on download progress. All synced OK, back to Nuke. Open pipe, work file. To open a published work file, I will enable the published checkbox, copy and open. Let me raise the version right away. This ensures that Bob will start working on a higher version than Alice. Publish normally doesn't allow overwriting versions, so Bob will be forced to raise the work file version to publish anyway. Bob now has the shot stored at his workstation, in the same shape as Alice left it. When it is time to publish the shot, published files end up on Bob's workstation's hard drive, and are also synced up to the studio site. Again, Sync queue shows the progress. All published files from Bob are now also synced to the studio server. This concludes Site Sync Demo.